Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Mail, this time in our April. new place. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, that is also objectively true, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's the first Mail video taking place in our in our new place. And um, similar to how March March's Mail was behind, April's Mail is also a little behind, because you guys are getting this late and we're recording it late, um, which is why things are probably a little more set up than the vlogs are yeah. indicative of. But that's okay. Um, we're we're getting there. Things have been crazy. If you've been watching the vlogs, you'll know. Uh, so we are catching up on everything, and Mao is part of that. So Mao, yes, we have just a few, mm -hmm. just a few boxes today, just a few packages. So it's going to be a uh, a shorter mail month. Who is our featured letter from? Our featured letter is from Kendall in Arlington, Texas. So let's take a look at what Kendall sent our way. And there's actually there's quite a lot here. There is there's a pack of Pokemon cards that <laughs> fill out, and also recipes. Yeah. There's some recipes. Let's look at the actual uh, card. It says, you're 16. 16. It's a, I, I want to say it's a breakfast stream reference, but that's, that's only because we stole it. It's technically a reference to Mary-Kate and Ashley. Happy 16th birthday, grandparents, or whatever. Let's just roll with it. This is my first time sending mail to YouTubers and I couldn't think of a better pair for my first letter to go to. I just want to say thank y'all for the hard work you put in every day. Y'all have put uh, so much joy and laughter into my life with your videos. Give the kitties a noggin scratch for me. Happy belated birthday, Stephen Amal, from Kendall HX. And it says, <laughs> 16 on a scale of one to 10. <laughs> Happy 16th birthday. I'm all for getting cards that do not fit the occasion. Yeah, um, you do that. I actually do yeah. that. There's been many times I've given my father cards that were not like birthday cards or Father's Day cards or whatever. It's a completely random things. And sometimes I'll even take a Sharpie and like, sh like cross stuff out. Cause it'll be like, happy 10th birthday nephew. And I'll be like, rrr, rrr, and just make it my own. Fun. Um, Kendall, thank you. So, in addition to the card, there is... Oh, the, the permission slips are here. Awesome. Thank you. So, uh, we got the permission slips for the recipes, and the recipes are cornmeal pancakes, which sounds wonderful. <laughs> it also says this recipe will feed a small army, so consider making a half recipe. A small army, or... Steven. <laughs> I, could pro I could probably put a huge dent in cornmeal pancakes, and then also lemon bars. Now, Mao, am I correct in thinking that, that the concept of bars, or as your people call them, bars. Bars. Um, that is a Midwestern concept? No. It's just the Midwesterners really liked it and yeah. ran with it. Yeah. Like, um, if you bring a dessert for somewhere, like for Thanksgiving, it's like customary. People bring bars. And like, if you go to a bake sale, there'll be bars. So I'm, Or you'll bring bars in for your birthday. I'm, I'm familiar with the concept of lemon bars. What's what's another example of like a common um, bar? S'mores, or just like chocolate and s'mores? caramel. S'mores count as a bear? No, like you use those flavors and make a bar. Oh, oh so this is, I'm stretching here a little bit, but like when I was a kid, they had these, these cereal Bars. Bars. It's just Those getting worse like every time I say it. Those are granola bars. Huh? Those are more like granola bars. Okay. Well, when Not you like said, a dessert bar. When you said, well, when they're made with Cinnamon Toast Crunch, they're dessert bars. Sorry. Uh, Kendall also includes a uh, pack of Pokemon cards. Sun and Moon Team Up. Which... The the art on this is just... It's it's Gengar, like... And, it, and Gengar has Mimikyu. And is doing like some sort of voodoo magic, which is a little weird. Um, I'm gonna open these up. We'll just do an impromptu daily pack here. And it'll also let me see what Pokemon look like in uh, 2019 uh, AD, because I'm not sure. Uh, so Klefki, which is literally... A key ring? A key ring. Key ring. This is literally a key ring holding keys. Pidgey, I know that one. I'm down, I'm down with the Pidgey. Emolga, which is like a flying squirrel Pikachu. That's 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 cute. Uh, Magikarp, Enter the Dragon. So you get to search or discard uh, for a Pokemon this evolves to. It's neat. Execute. Oh, you got a lot of the 
traditional. Tradition, the tradition. The ones the, I. The first. The ones I'm very familiar with. Got a hollow uh, heliolisk. Oh, it's hollow. Yeah. Oh, okay. A little shiny. I was like, that word is not hollow. This is also hollow. Uh, Ingo and Emmet. We've got energy. Well, have you ever played the Pokemon trading card no, game? No, I actually have no idea how it works. Really? Mm -hmm. You know who designed it? Wizards. Wizards. Yeah. Which means it plays kind of similarly to Magic. Yeah. Although, it's it's not fair to like compare everything to Magic, but Magic really set the bar for like trading card games. Water memory. Gold duck. God, most I like almost half this pack was uh, you know cards that I'm familiar with. Dana. And then also use this code to unlock your online reward with your parents' permission. <laughs> Log on and use this code within the Pokemon TCG online to expand your online card collection. Get at it, trainers. <laughs> there's, there's, the, there's the code. Um, yeah, so if you've never played the Pokemon trading card game, it's basically like... You know how you can play one land a turn? Yeah. You can play one energy a turn. Mm. But the energy, instead of being in a pool, attached to a Pokemon. So if a Pokemon dies, it loses its mana. Okay. It's on, on that's basically it. Like that's, that's a lot of, of what it is. And the other thing is that uh, in magic, all of your creatures can attack at once. And in Pokemon, you choose one because it's following the rules of Pokemon. Cool. You learned something today. Anyway, Kendall, Thank you so much for the recipes, the, the cards, and also uh, the wonderful birth, the birthday card. We're collectively 16. Uh, now we're going to move on to uh, the, couple, the couple of packages that we have today. First package is coming from... Robert in Georgetown, Ontario. All right, so we got a uh, pretty big box here, and I can tell that it's got some, uh, some games in it. Hello, Stephen and Mal. While doing some cleaning, I went through some Wii games that I no longer play, and I remembered that Stephen had mentioned wanting to do a Wii theme for Extra Life next year, 2020, so I've pulled almost everything from my collection that you do not have at the moment. Also, I want to thank the both of you for the laughs you've provided me over the last few years. On January 2nd, 2017, my twin brother passed away, and then right before Christmas 2018, a cousin passed away. Between you two, Massey, and the Runaway guys, you helped me get through a very dark time. Thank you so much, Robert. Well, Robert, um... I'm I'm terribly sorry that you had to go through those dark times. I mean, that is a terrible thing to have to endure. Um, but I'm I'm thankful that we could do something, however small and minute, to help you through that. Um, obviously, that is an extremely difficult thing to to go through. And uh, if we could help in any small way. Um, we're glad to, and obviously I know uh, Tim, John, Emil, and Massey would all agree with that if, if they were sitting here too, so I'm, I'm glad that we could help in some small way. Let's take a look at uh, the Wii games that are in this box. Uh, so we've got right on top, uh, Link's Crossbow Training, which uh, I actually never got a chance to play. Yeah, me neither. Um, but uh, I remember whenever it came out and just thinking how interesting it was that they it's basically Duck Hunt. Like, they basically made Duck Hunt, but they did a Zelda theme, and I think that's really neat. And then also, oh, there's all sorts of amazing things in here. There's- Let me do this. Ah, look at you. Ultimate Duck Hunting from Zoo. Uh, I know it probably sounds weird. This, this company produced uh, some of the wildest games. Like, games that you don't see very often. Because everybody knows like certain Wii games, certain like mm -hmm. first party Nintendo titles, and Zoo produced a lot of like lesser known ones. Because you've probably never heard of Ultimate Duck Hunting, which seems to feature like a photo. <laughs> it's a photo, but like I'm pretty sure this is the only guy that's actually in it, and the dog and the the duck are definitely photoshopped in. He's it's, not even aiming at that. That was duck. the other thing I was going to point out, is I think it's wild that like the duck is down here. And he's just like pointing at the sky. Anyway, we've got Spore Hero, which uh, I've never played, but I've played Spore, and I always, I always thought Spore was really fun. Uh, Soul Calibur Legends, very cool. Uh, the Simpsons game. Look at Millhouse on the front. Is he dressed as the, the prince? The King of All Cosmos. That's weird. Why? Now this isn't the arcade game. This no. is like a a third person 
game where you're in The Simpsons. Save The Simpsons from video game purgatory. <laughs> the Simpsons punch, nag, meditate, and eat their way through the video game industry. A, a hilarious plot written by Simpsons writers, spoken by your Springfield favorites. And over 40 minutes of brand new Simpsons animation you won't see anywhere else. Have a friend drop in and out of your game anytime in co-op mode. Actually sounds really cool. Yeah. Honestly. Uh, Sid Meier's Pirates! It's kind of a classic. Uh, Rayman Raving Rabbit's TV Party. Is that a Mario Party that is Wii Balance Board compatible? Yes, it actually is. It also reminds me of the era where Ubisoft went crazy with uh, the Rabbids. And this was actually back when they still put Rayman in it. Mm -hmm. uh, th that was still in the titles. Monsters vs. Aliens. Uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Mario Sports Mix. I have not heard of that. You've never heard of this? Uh-uh. It's, well, it's exactly what it says. It's a, it's a sports mix. It's got basketball, hockey, volleyball, and dodgeball. It's like all of the, the sports that Mario hadn't covered yet. In one thing. Basically, yeah. Um, and it's, it's the closest thing you'll ever get to Looney Tunes B-Ball 2. Uh, Lego Pirates of the uh, Caribbean video game. Batman Lego video game, Ice Age 2 The Meltdown, uh, 2K Sports NHL 2K9, and then also Blazing Angels Squadrons of World War II. Robert, thank you. I sincerely appreciate it. Um, and it's true, we are... It's a fool's errand. I'm, I'm gonna be real honest with everybody. It's a fool's errand to try and finish We by next November. Yeah. We are trying, and we are actually, like, for real attempting to do this. And um, any help that we get from you guys is appreciated beyond what you'll ever know. I know a lot of people have uh, a collection of Wii games sitting around that they're probably not playing anymore. There's a good chance you have something that we don't, and if you're willing to part with it, we appreciate it. That was not, I didn't mean for that to be a pun. We appreciate oh, it. Oh, I was like. Sorry, as soon as it came out, my inner Emil was like, <laughs> and I was like, Emil, get out of my head. Um, but we do, and uh, there, there's, there's so many stinking games for that system. It has more than double what GameCube had, and we're doing good. We're doing good on the collecting portion. It's just, there's, there's a lot. Yeah. So Robert, uh, this helps us a ton. Um, so thank you so much for, uh, for sending these our way. Our next package is from Gunner in Fairport, New York. And uh, Gunner has got <gasps> a mouse relics. I see a thing that I like. <laughs> There's just a little note, and it says, Dear Stephen and Mal, here are a few things I thought you might like. Hope you like them. Yes. From Gunner. Mal, Mal's really excited. Gunner, thank you. First off, the first thing that we saw, which is what was exciting Mal so much, is uh, Tim Horton's coffee. Uh, we will always gladly accept Tim Horton's co coffee because we do not have a Tim Horton, Horton's near us. And we've had the joy of receiving these in mail from folks across the country and other countries. Uh, Canada. And we appreciate that, and then also we've uh, been able to actually have Tim Hortons. Both in... Ohio. Yeah, Ohio. And Vancouver. And then, and then also Vancouver, um, which I, is pro I don't know if it's better there, but I, I'd like to think it's better in Canada. It probably is. Um, so first off, thank you for this. And then what else is in here? Let's, uh, let's take a look. We've got a little dish towel, and it says, How's adulting going, you ask? Well, I turned on the wrong burner and have been cooking nothing for 20 minutes. <laughs> At our old place, for some reason, I always turned on the wrong burner. Because I felt like I'd turn a dial and be like, oh, this is the front one. And it was always the back one. You know, I actually have run into this problem here. And the reason is we have five stupid And things. one of them is a double burner, so you can turn on the inside or both. And sometimes we'll turn on both when we only wanted the inside. This, this oven, you know, is neat. It's more better and better advanced than the one at the last place. But it has a has a, a warming spot. Yeah. And I have mistaken that for the burner on like three occasions now, where I'm like, all right, and let's get that boiling. And then, you know, I walk away for a few minutes, come back, and I'm like, huh. And then I don't even think about it. I'm just like, taking a long time to boil. And then I'll walk away and come back again. I'll be like, oh, it's... I've turned on the warming spot. Oh, wonderful. So these are actually quite appropriate. And then we've uh, we've also got more uh, Keurig cups and it says, uh, it's 
Ripa Fra Frada. R Ripa Frada, I think I'm saying that right. And it's Donut Shop Blend. Neat. I like doing, I like coffee, mm -hmm. just in general. I, uh, I've been, ever since we built the coffee bar, I've been consuming more. I don't know if that vlog will be out by the time this no. is referenced. Probably not. There's a coffee bar coming. Um, and it, that's what it makes me think of. Uh, Doctor Who Flux. Ooh. Uh, it, for anyone out there who's never played Flux, it's great. It's great. It's absolutely worth playing. It comes in a variety of flavors. There's normal Flux, and then they also skin it. Which sounds weird when you say it like that. They skin it with Doctor Who theme characters. It. Huh? It's theme. theme. Yes, that's better. Sorry. Uh, Doctor Who or like anything. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, there's a million there's, of them. Yeah, there's gotta be a hundred or more different variations of Flux, but it's a it's a wonderful game and I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, where the wind condition keeps changing, so you don't know what you're even gonna have to do. And there's a Wallet? Oh, oh, it's a little yeah. like wallet. The pattern's pretty. It is. And it's got like a magnet. Or, yeah, it's got yeah. magnets in it. Well, that's cool. That's very pretty. And then also, <laughs> Deluxious Dark Drinking Chocolate, rich Ooh. and oh so creamy award winning dark chocolate from Chuao. Did I say that right? Chu, Chu, Chuao? Chuao? Uh, you know that I'll drinking chocolate is different than hot chocolate, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, I've, I've heard that, but. I know that, but I don't know if I could tell you that it's different. Okay. Like, I don't know personally, because I grew up- Hot chocolate up... is like chocolate milk heated. Yeah. This is like melted chocolate. Okay. Okay. Well, that's what I was thinking, but I've never, I don't know if it's I've never had this. It's just that I haven't had them like back to back to like compare. Okay. Because I grew, I'm the family grew up on Swiss Miss, mm -hmm. you know? This is very different than Swiss Miss. Yeah. And this is supposed to be like super rich, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good, good. That's I'm gonna. It's summer, and I'm I, I'm gonna make some of this. Yeah, I want some. Oh, do you? <laughs> okay. Well then, well then, it's a date. I uh, I'm actually pretty excited about this. Gunner, um, thank you so much. Nice little uh, nice little package of stuff. I really appreciate it. Uh, and I'm looking. I was almost. <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna have the a chocolate with the coffee. I was gonna have a cup of Tim Hortons with this, but I guess That's this is a, a drink, beverage. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean. Is that a problem? You can just have a mug of each, like, at the same time. That's that's a totally normal it's thing totally that normal. people do, probably. Maybe. Anyway, Gunner, thanks for sending all this stuff in. Thanks. Our next package is from Megan in the UK. Okay. And there's a little note inside. A little note. There you go. It says, Dear Stephen Mountain Kitties, she's here. P.S. I also in included a little seahorse for Mal because I believe she oh. likes them. From uh, Megan L. Finney on YouTube or M. L. Finney on Twitch. Look at it. That's cute. Mal loves yes. seahorses. They are. They are the. They're pretty, and then also like the weirdest they're little. They're the creatures. weirdest little fish, aren't they? They're like we swim upright. We swim upright. What is wrong? What is wrong? They kind of just drift. Yeah. They're like uh, they're like little sea doos. Is that <laughs> no. what I want? Sea doo? That's the thing you ride, though, right? Yeah. I get that and the thing you wear confused. A life jacket? No, speedo. Sea doo and speedo. Those are very confusing things. Steven, she's here. I don't know what that. Okay, so when I when I read the word she's here, I immediately now think I of Peggy. I see the colors, so I know. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. It's so good. <laughs> Megan. <laughs> she has the one, one wing. <laughs> Megan, this is like the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Holy crap! <laughs> this is amazing! How did you do this? Like, the people that have the, the, the skills necessary to create things like this from nothing is yeah. like, I just don't understand. It's it's so perfect. It's, it, it honest to God, it looks like something you would buy at the store. I mean, if I saw this in the store, I would have several questions, but this is this is amazing. Holy cow. 
and the little hands. Ah wee! Ah wee! Oh my God, this is. I, I don't even know what to say. Like, um, we've received some some handmade gifts in the past. Um, uh, I, I actually recall uh, our, uh, I don't know, cro were they crocheted? The crocheted uh, Little, Big, Little Planet. Big Planet things? Those are down in the bookcases. The, like, and that's something I received years and years and years ago, and it's still like one of my most cherished things I've ever received for mail. Mm -hmm. And like this is now, you know, in that same, tier of, yeah. of, of gifts that I've received. This is incredible. To, to physically have <laughs> Peggy is just amazing. And it also get, it gets me pumped up for Extra Life mm -hmm. again, you know? And I'm sure we're gonna be playing Amazing Island. Like, you, you know that that's gonna happen. Oh yeah. Megan, uh, this, is, this is amazing. I, I don't know what else to say, but, uh, but thank you. And I am going to, uh, I, I'm sure that I'm sure that this is going to be appearing on breakfast stream. You know, ult ultimately, what I want to do is I want to have breakfast stream in a place where we have like space behind us, mm -hmm. like like the rock. The rock, yeah. So that's that's where Peggy is probably going to be too. God, it's no wonder she can run so fast. Look, look at those thighs. Look at those yeah. thighs. That's why she can run. She's like, not very on... aerodynamic. No, she. Well, she's got the wing. That helps like guide her. The tail's a rudder. It's a rudder. <laughs> this is amazing. Megan, uh, again, I'm speechless. No words, just thank you so much. Our next package is from Monica in Lake Bluff, Illinois. And this is, uh, well, I mean, you can probably tell. This a large is a box. Oh, God, I just put myself in the stomach. This is a big old box. And there is a leather. And let's see what this says. Uh, hello, Stephen Mao and kitties. My name is Monica, AKA Iron Girl 18 on YouTube and M Stark 18 on Twitch, or as you put it, Mr. Stark 18 during the breakfast stream when I get a gift sub. Uh, P.S. Thanks, Alxmay. This is my first time sending mail. I've been lurking since about 2011, 2012, finding you guys through one of the Runaway Guy Smash tourneys. Um, I remember after watching the episode with Mao's match, I was trying to find her channel, but was extremely confused why it kept redirecting me to Steven Plays. Granted, this was a solid three to four years before Mao Mix came into existence. That didn't stop me from joining the ranks of Stevenites, taking the journey, and enjoy watching all the Steven Corp channels. I know you've completed the GameCube collection, but there's one item of GameCube that I didn't see you have. You have the game MC Groove's Dance Craze, but it came with its own of questionable quality dance pad. I have it. I wanted to send that along with a few games since I know they will be going to a good home or if they're duplicates going into the good hands of Player's Choice to eventually be transformed into Wii games. Since you're doing GameCube for Extra Life again this year, it might be fun to watch you guys bust a move on this DDR knockoff. Below is a list of what's included in this box. So that's actually super neat. Um, and actually to some degree, uh, Crisis has been averted because last year we were never asked to play either MC Grooves or um, Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. But that's good because we actually didn't have the dance pad. If we would have been asked to play DDR Mario, I would have had to have used a controller. Which is fine, but not really in the spirit of what that game is supposed to be. So by having a dance pad, we actually can do DDR Mario Mix or MC Grooves. Uh, so let's pull this stuff out of the box. Um, Here. This is the dance pad. There it is, in all of its 2003 glory. That's amazing. Dancing is a great card cardio workout. I thought it said carded. Great carded workout. Wow. Yeah, I guessed 2003. Now I'm curious. I'm, I know I got to be close. I just did a, a middle of the road answer there. How close did I get? 2004. That was close. It was pretty close. All right, so we've got the dance pad. Whiskey. Whiskey? Whiskey. When you say it fast, it sounds like whiskey. What? The wh there's whiskey in here? What? What else? I don't like hard alcohol. Um, Smarty Pants. That is a great name for a game. Smarty Pants. The very Wii-esque title, too. Um, NHL Breakaway 98 ends in 4. NHL Breakaway? That, I actually, I 
feel like this one was one of the harder NHL games to find on N64 too. Scooby-Doo classic creep capers with manual N64. scooby dooby doo where are you? I found you and you're inside this cart. Diddy Kong Racing manual. Diddy Kong Racing! Great game, great game. I gotta play that again sometime. Fur Pals. Fur Pals. When Nintendogs came out, uh, third party companies were like, but cats. Kitty? Yeah, that's but that would have been me. Yeah. Uh, Mickey Speedway USA GameCube. I mean, yeah. GBC. <laughs> GBC, the Game Book Cube. I see G. I'm like, oh, GameCube. Yeah, of course. Mickey Speedway USA. And then also, oh, see the actual game okay. is in here too. So this off of my lap there. That's uh, that's awesome. Um, Monica, thank you so much. Uh, we've been hard at work on collecting <laughs> just <laughs> games, games in general, but um, it, it means a lot whenever folks go out of their way to help us with that, um, especially for GameCube and for um, Wii. Like, these are huge, huge libraries. Uh, we handled a lot of N64 ourselves, mm -hmm. but then GameCube was bigger, and now Wii is even bigger. Um, God help us if we ever attempt a PS2 or something. Whew, but that'll take a long time. Uh, thanks for all the work you put in uh, to put out quality and consistent content. Y'all are amazing. Sincerely, Monica. I appreciate it. Thank you. And again, thank you for the thank you for the dance pad because uh, that is actually one thing that we didn't have. We didn't have a way to to groove down to the Mario. No. Um, there's. And I don't know if there's a way to get other pads working on it. Like the Wii technically has, um, oh wait, that's but it's the GameCube. I was gonna say the Wii technically has a USB port. GameCube don't. So yeah, you ba you basically have to have one of these in order to get it to work. So now we can do that. And I I know that the Mad Cat stuff is questionable quality. Like all the dance pads that ever were commercially available, yeah. like in Walmart or whatever, like they all are like. Uh, you had to you had to build your own out of metal in order to get them to withstand stomping on them for long periods of time. But uh, for the purpose of extra life, this will work just just fine. So I'm excited about that. Anyway, um, that is it for today. It was you know kind of a small mail month, but that's all right. Uh, we have more mail to shoot and more mail to release, so it's going to be coming to you guys pretty soon. Um, and also a special shout out to Dan for tackling these mail videos. He started editing them uh, a few months ago and has been doing a really wonderful yep. job. Uh, so thank you, Dan, for, for handling this, this task for us. We appreciate it. Uh, and then thank you everyone who sent stuff in today. There's some really incredible stuff. I'm really, <laughs> really incredibly thrilled about this. Um, it's just really wonderful. I can't wait to have this just on the shelf. It's, it's uh, just to show up. Yeah, mm -hmm. just to show up randomly during during streams too. It's it's wonderful, and uh, you know if if you're watching and you'd like to send something in, you can. Um, there's a link in the description that tells you where to send it and uh, what to send, what not to send, etc. All the details are in the description. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next mail video. It'll be soon. That's that's all I got to say about that. It'll be soon.